Sure, we, we consider this trip uh, to be very important. Not only this trip, but in general, uh, one of the most important foreign policy directions mm -hmm. for the Republic of Herzegovina. Not only foreign policy direction, it's a kind of a cornerstone of our state building philosophy, is to strengthen the Armenian arts and diaspora ties. This is why we must have good relations with all those countries where we have diaspora. And we have to strengthen and deepen our ties with our diaspora. And the US Armenian diaspora is one of the most organized, one of the largest Armenian communities in the world. Consequently, maintaining uh, good relations and strong ties with Armenian diaspora of America is very important. And uh, besides, of course, we uh, also had political meetings with representatives of the U.S. Uh, political elite, mainly in Congress and Senate. Also, uh, we met with uh, think tanks, uh, representatives, uh, people who are engaged in different types of analysis. So uh, we think it's very important because we face existential threats. And one of the most important threat, one of the um, main culprits of the deterioration of situation in our region is Turkey, which, is, which considers or calls itself a lie of the United States, even though it makes a lot of bad things to the US too. So it is very important to come here, to discuss, to see how one of the co-chair countries of the OEC Minsk group thinks about the Azerbaijani Karabakh conflict settlement. So uh, I think that this, there are so many questions to discuss that we always need to be here, at least visit periodically. Uh, attack against Armenia and attack against Artsakh. We don't have to differentiate them because it is uh, it, it all um, has has the same goal: attacks on Armenia and Artsakh. They uh, have the same goal of committing a new genocide towards Armenian people, and the enemy itself never distinguish whether it is Artsakh or Armenia. This is why the uh, recent uh, heinous acts of, of the Azerbaijani military, backed up by Turkish also servicemen, and we cannot exclude that the Turkish army servicemen were not taking part in that conflict. So we think it's a very gross violation of the ceasefire issue, it's a gross violation of human rights, and international norms. It's an act of genocidal aggression. You know, first of all, the new road, we have to, uh, we don't have to call it a road because it's a corridor. Corridor is a little bit different than road. The corridor includes road. So the new direction of the corridor has been already somehow set up. The road through this new line corridor direction is safe, quite safe. Uh, we have around 21 kilometers of a very um, well constructed highway, some five kilometers uh, kind of preliminary or uh, well, kind of a uh, highway which is not which is temporary and we're going to construct the Armenian section till April, May of the coming year. So it is safe because the Russian peacekeepers are controlling this corridor. Mm -hmm. I mean people of different national uh, citizenship, especially Armenians, come and visit us. But you see the visa uh, system in general, uh, providing visas. Of course, we have uh, changed some uh, procedures because of the situation, uh, but uh, we generally 
try to do everything possible not to cut off the ties of parts of with outer world, especially with Armenian diaspora. Most important goal is to save Artsakh because we face now we face existential threats. How we can save Artsakh? First of all, with our unity, with diaspora and mother Armenia. Consequently, this is the most important task we have to accomplish. And as to cooperation with Armenia, the Republic of Armenia is carrying out. It's helping also, especially in, in, in social economic development. Uh, it puts a lot of investment. And we think that this, the cementing of our trinity, Armenia also, diaspora, should continue. Without that, it will be impossible to save also, and Armenia and the diaspora. Today is the anniversary of Armenia's independence. I would like just to congratulate all our, all our compatriots on that day and once more call to be united because it's a, indeed a very historical period. If we don't succeed, we will be cursed.